So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about these very cool limited edition field notes notebooks that I purchased recently. These are from a new series from Field Notes called the United States of Letterpress, and they are letterpressed limited edition notebooks that Field Notes made in collaboration with different printing houses around the country. Uh, so they are selling these right now in a set called like an A, B, and C set. I had purchased sets A and B, I believe. So that would limit which uh, houses or which printers you got the notebooks from. But I just picked the ones with the designs I liked the best. And I, I want to do a quick video about them, which are pretty cool. And I don't think they're going to be around for too long. So you want to get them now before people buy them up and start reselling them for crazy prices. So uh, I opened up the uh, A set, I believe, which has uh, this design. This is, uh, the designs are like a little bit abstract. It's not really clear uh, kind of what they're going for with them, but I found them all to be quite cool. It's uh, it's kind of paint can design, Field Notes logo. And uh, if you open it up, you could sometimes get a better sense for the design. So it's paint being poured out. You could see there's a lot of variation, uh, maybe imperfections, but uh, I just really like how it is. It has that sort of handmade feel to it, like letterpress. I'm not like a letterpress or printing geek necessarily, but these have a sort of very nice uh, crafts type feel or art, artisanal feel that I think is very cool. Opening them up, you can see it's a standard page here, but this, uh, I think Fieldman's calls it the fly page or something like that. You have a custom design on the border, again, with some like real like print quality stuff. It's clearly this is not made, you know, at some huge, uh, industrial scale. These are like very nicely letter pressed made. And then some discussion about what's going on, the history of printing in the U.S. It's a uh, Finch paper and French press, uh, sorry, French and French paper. And then inside we have kind of standard grid notebook. I think I cho chose grid, staple bound. And then uh, there's no, there's, I mean, there's more on the back, some uh, little surprise here in this case. A little story, I guess, more about the printer than actual about sauce in this case. Here's another design. This is my favorite design. This is, uh, it's this really cool uh, line drawing with the uh, that really nice blended sort of Venn diagram thing going on. It's very cool. Quite happy with that. And I mean, if you actually take the time, it, it does say things too. So there's uh, one and the many are one, one is many and it is universal in its form, many are. So, I mean, maybe you like the, the notes, maybe you don't, but I would say that the notebooks themselves are quite cool. It's this uh, nice lavender color, which I think is quite nice. Here is the last one of that A series and uh, this is just a big W, but under it is a map of Colorado and I will note that one of the peculiar things about this series is that you can buy A, B, or C, those sets, or A, B, and C, but within A, there's multiple designs using this green. So there's no guarantee you're going to get this W just because you purchased this. Some of the printers offered multiple designs. So uh, you're going to have to keep that in mind. You may not get exactly the one you want. And here we have that B series. I was very excited about this sort of uh, multicolor pink design. I think that's quite cool. It did a really nice job there. It's just really ornate and interesting. And then inside, again, standard staple bound grid pattern. And then here we have that same opening page. And then I believe the back page should be unique per printer. Yeah, so you see a little talk about Brad Vetter design, which is the person that did the actual letterpress. He's from Nashville. Then you have, uh, here's the other two in that beeline. This one's a little basic, you know, it's like maybe a little disappointing. Go, don't stop, don't stop rather. Uh, right plan draw. You know, this is like kind of inspirational type stuff doesn't really appeal to me. I really do prefer like a cool ornate design. I don't care if it's pink or purple, like color doesn't matter so much to me, but a cool design like that is interesting. Here you have something kind of more old timey, uh, kind of old school political uh, icons, an old pencil, pretty cool. And then uh, they can't they can't help themselves with these like inspirational quotes. I guess that just comes with the territory. But uh, this one's like kind of vote inspired, kind of fitting for this year. 
and then uh, more voting stuff. On the note here, we have Spring Tide Press. So I haven't heard any of these before, but again, I'm not like an expert on uh, printing, like local printing in particular. So that, I think that should pretty much cover it. For the notebooks themselves, they're just standard field notes, which maybe you like, maybe you don't like. We've talked about them many times on this channel. I, you know, I like them for day-to-day -day writing. I don't think they're super spectacular under all circumstances, but they're fine for fountain pens and normal, and normal uh, writing day-to-day. -day. I like having one on me when I'm doing my sort of notes around the house or whatever. But yeah, so these are field notes, United States of Letterpress, limited edition notebooks, staple bound, standard field notes, except for the uh, fully custom covers. Thanks for watching.